Hey everybody, Peyton Bay here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pikmin. In the last part, we started at the impact site and got one of the things, and got 25 of the red Pikmin. In this part, we're going to go to the Forest of Hope, and try and find some more. The Forest of Hope. Dun dun dun! I really like this area. It's a fun area. <laughs> Probably not my favorite, but definitely pretty fun. <laughs> my dolphin has returned to the surface long, but it's brought Pikmin out of the onion, blah blah blah. Yeah, basically it's saying at the beginning of the day, you gotta run out and get your Pikmin. Let's get all 25 of them. Steve and his army. No, stand out of the light. Or one of you to get that. Only if you can manage to throw one Pikmin on top of it, it will knock it down immediately. And let you get that. And then the rest of you take care of this. Okay. you guys back. Man, my depth perception is a little off on this game. I'm playing on a tiny screen, just uh, which is kind of why. And with that, we now have 28 Pikmin. Only red for now. We can't open that wall quite yet, unfortunately. Just gonna let you guys take care of that. Let me see. Is there anything else I can do right now? No. Gotta hurry up and empty these guys. Open up this area. And there is going to be our first enemy. Yay! Woo! Way to go, Pikmin! Okay, I don't know why I wouldn't call them there. That was weird. And there's a lot of health here. And I like to sneak up behind him and just chuck Pikmin's on top of him. Really, all you need if you can throw one Pikmin on top. So you do. Oh god, run away! Oh, you need three, not two. Go, with my third Pikmin. See if you can just send one and land right on top of it. it kills him instantly. Okay, you three got that. Have you three take care of that. Bunch of you take care of that. Oh, weird. Don't know why one didn't pick up that one. Get one over there. Ah, I need two more. I'm gonna send all but five here to take care of that. I'll have you five. Grab this. And that's one big thing about Pikmin is you gotta learn how to multitask with all your Pikmin. Because you're gonna have a lot of work to do here. Especially in this first day. Well, this first real day. I don't count the first day as a day, technically. Because all you're doing is just running around. And but now to collect all these Pikmin. And now we can really get this started. Seeing if you look up at the top of the screen now, you can see that we actually have time limit. You can see each of the dots showing about half the day. That's where we're at now. So we're about a quarter of the way through this day. Each day takes about 12 minutes, so... It's a good idea to keep that in mind whenever exploring. Because you do have a time limit, unfortunately. And while those are growing, there's another ship part. I'm gonna send one to take you out. Oh god, we lost one! Oh, 
Oh no, I lost a Pikmin. I'm so sad now. I missed. That. There we go. And... What? What the... And there we go. Got all ten on that. Are they done over here yet? No. I'll send in more help for them. That's the thing about this first area is kind of there's a lot of stuff you have to do in this first day that just kind of slowly making your way through. I'm kind of doing more of a I'm not exactly going for everything the fastest way possible. I'm just sweeping through and clearing everything out, I'm trying to get as many Pikmin as I can as fast as I can, and stop failing with this throwing. Stop! Pick up the damn Pikmin. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. I hate when it does that. When I'm just trying to pick up some Pikmin, it decides to throw them like an ass. I wasn't playing on such a tiny screen, but eh, it's whatever. This game is fun, and uh, I really enjoy playing it. I have 70 Pikmin already. I'm just getting like crazy. And also, one thing you should have noticed by now is on those pellets, which is I guess what they call them, they don't really look much like pellets. There's a number on them, and that number is how many Pikmin it sprouts from the uh, onion whenever you get them. But also, if you do a same colored ones, like he, I had the red ones picking up reds, then you will get more. I don't remember exactly what the ratio is, but you get more for it. And now I'm going to take out these assholes. Gotta be. This is the trick here, you gotta be sneaky. Gotta sneak him around. And... Bomb rush! Bomb rush tactic. Very effective. See, and I beat it without losing a single person. And how many does this take? And there we go. Got ten in there. One of you. What? How did I... Oh, clock indicates it's noon. Yeah, I already told him that. Just gotta look at the sun. It'll tell you how much time you got left. I already know this stuff. You don't really have to tell him. <sighs> yeah, unfortunately, this first couple of days, there's a lot of this stuff. But luckily, it will stop here shortly. And then I will not have to explain any of it anymore. That's ten. One to take care of that. And there we go. And then I think... Let's see how many. I have 51. How many is this going to take? Twenty? Or forty. Oh. So I'll send all but 10. Well, all but 11. And then just keep throwing out your Pikmin. There we go. And I'm going to throw the rest of these guys to help knock down this wall. So that's one nice thing, is once you've built something like that or knocked down a wall, it stays knocked down. Which is why it's a good idea, especially on this first day, to try and get as much done as you can. Like, having to do with walls and stuff. Which is why I'm trying to just clear and sweep everything right now. But I mean, I've seen other people do it other ways. I just prefer it this way. Where I kind of go on a... S have as many Pikmin as I can and just go and sweep everything. And with that... We got a lot of Pikmin now. And I think we've only lost one, which is a pretty good day, if I do say so myself. Wow, it's the fuel dynamo! It has unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make it my fight for survival a little bit easier. 
Why can't we have things that have infinite energy like that? That would be convenient. And let's see. I think I can actually do something up here. If I throw all my Pikmin up here. And... Booyah! This should light things up. No more candles for me. Yes, two out of 30 parts. Just three more and I'll be able to increase my ship's capacity. The in increasing ship's capacity has to do with being able to go new areas in the game, which is kind of an obvious, but still. It's kind of just like the random things. I mean, can I understand with the ship, you kind of need that, but... Like with this, you can... It's one nice thing about Omar is he can go pretty much wherever he wants without any problem. Ooh, it's the shock absorber. This apparatus can act shocking, blah, 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 blah. This is a very useful. I like it. Now the tricky part here is... Oh, God, keep it away. And then... Get ready. Bum rush! Woo! Didn't lose any Pikmin. Hell yeah. Like a boss. One, two, three. And then just throw a couple like this. How many am I going to need on this? I know! This thing's a bit more important, so... I'm going to take care of this thing first. What? Oh. Ah, stupid Wii. Okay, let's see. We're at 20. Okay, we got 30 there. Ah, three short. Oh, hey, maybe it'll work. They'll both push it. Come on, come on, come on. And wouldn't that be convenient? <sighs> I'll come back and get three more so I can help take care of these guys. Because I'm going to get that thing, too. Oh, hey, look. Come here, all my Pikmin minions. And one other thing I want to try and get done before this day is over is help these guys. Oh, hey. They didn't need help. What bosses? They just took care of everything themselves. I think I'm gonna send three more up there to help get that last thing. And then dismiss. How do I dis there we go. Okay. Climb this climb it! Omar, please climb this stump. That would be greatly appreciated. Oh my god! I mean, yay, I got another piece, but still. Shock Absorber, this nifty little device counteracts shocking and swaying experience. Yay, off three parts. Just two more, and I'll be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Get the climb up the damn thing! There we go. It's being retarded. And go, my three. Okay. And the rest of you, come with me. We're going to use these 48 and go explore. Because really, as long as any Pikmin are in your base area, at the end of the day, they'll be fine. You won't have to worry about them. It's just these one I have with me I want to take good care of. we got to be careful here. That we're going to try and do let's go for a bum rush here. Oh god, kill him! We might have lost some there. Fortunately. Guess I think that's... Uh-oh, time's running up. I need to hurry up and get these Pikmin back to the onion. 
Yep, and that's just saying, if you don't get them and you leave them behind, they will die. And you don't want to do that. That always sucks. Okay. Let's see. Oh, hey, I forgot about this. And I know at the very end of the day, it makes complete and total sense to do this. But yay! We have a yellow onion and one yellow Pikmin. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna have to work really fast here. Because I'm gonna try and get a couple pic yellow Pikmin here before time runs up. I probably should have taken care of this a little earlier, but... The color of this Pikmin is different. None. It's yellow! And the thing about the yellow, they can be thrown higher and further, I think. But also, they're immune to electricity, which you won't run into for a while. Actually, I'm not even sure if that applies in this game. Because I know electricity applies in the other games. Oh yeah, I just went out to bait a hundred on the field, it stopped, okay. Yeah, that's just telling you. Kinda unnecessary things. Yeah, that's just telling you. Kinda unnecessary things. Okay, it's just... Gotta get it. I do not have time for this. Come on, Pikmin. I'm gonna have to hurry here. And also, any Pikmin that are underground are perfectly safe. Oh crap, I really hope I didn't lose any. Ooh, I hope those ones that I were sending back are okay. Got a couple yellow ones, got a whole bunch of red ones. Hopefully all the ones I was sending on to gather up those uh, dead carcasses didn't die. Let's see. And... Yes! No Pikmin got left behind. Whoop whoop! Yes, that is a good day. Two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover these parts, the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances. Then I only have to press plus to locate my parts. Yet, there seems to be many hostile life forms here. If I'm attacked and my spaceship takes damage, I must return to my, sh return to my ship, stand in front of it, and press A to make repairs. As I'm exploring, I must pay attention to my damage meter. And with that, we lost three today in battle, unfortunately. None left behind, which is always good. And sprouted a whole shit ton of reds and a couple yellows. We got seven now, so I'd say that was a pretty successful day if you ask me. I'm going to save it, of course, because why wouldn't you? And with that, I think that was another pretty successful. And we're going to end this off. And I think in the next part, day three, we're going to go back into the Forest of Hope. And now that we have yellow Pikmin, do a lot more exploring with them. And maybe get a couple more parts. And with that, this is Peyton Beatty, signing out.